I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I am working in my Disney memory book. This is for a recent vacation that my family and I took to Disney World. Um, I got it started last week. This is a journal that I picked up at Disney, and I'm going to continue it. I am using some gorgeous ephemera from Kelly Bangs. Um, called Once Upon a Theme Park. She had these um, physical ones, but I know she has a digital kit that you can buy, so I will link that. I've printed my pictures at home, and then I'm trying to use a lot of scrap paper. So you'll see me pull out my scraps to match these different photos. I am excited to continue documenting this fun adventure. So I will link the things that I used down below so you can check those out. Otherwise, I will put you guys on fast forward. Let's go. All right. So as I get started to work on this vacation album, I'm doing a couple of things to help streamline the process. I literally have hundreds of photos from these days at Disney World. We took all kinds of photos. I think once, I mean, we had the memory maker package at Disney World. So we got a ton of photos through that. And then of course we were taking photos and sharing them as a family with my sister and her kiddos. A ton of photos. So something I'm doing to make it a little bit easier is trying to limit myself to 10 photos for each day of the trip. So just 10 photos from each day. It helps me kind of narrow it down when I think of that number. I'm also printing all of the photos the same size. I know some of my memory keeping friends are probably cringing that I'm not customizing it a little bit more but it just makes it easier for me to plan when they're all going to be three by four. I am printing them at home on my Epson PictureMate 400 printer. I love my photo printer. It works really well for me. I use an app called Print to Size that allows me to resize my photos and kind of make my own collage on a four by six. And so I print two pictures per four by six and um, that gives me that three by four size and it's a really good size for this size of album so it just helps me simplify the process and then of course i'm using scraps i'm just using a ton of scrap paper paper um, and that's a great way for me to use up some of my scrap paper only a little bit of the papers are showing i don't need a theme paper the thing that's theming it that's bringing it all together would be the paper pieces that i'm using um, with all of the papers, which is that Kelly Bangs set from, um, she has a digital release called Once Upon a Theme Park, I believe. And it is such, it's such a cute set. I'm really glad I bought the physical set, but you can also buy it digitally and cut them all out yourself and have them um, to document over and over. So I have all of the photos on these two pages matted. I actually trimmed out a few of these little cameras. I thought those were really cute from one of the scraps I had. And then I just put the photos on the page I play with some of the ephemera pieces where they're where they're going to be put. These are kind of like throwback Disney ephemera. So these are from like Disneyland back in the day. So I'm not really worried that these are not like Epcot themed. They're theme park themed. They're Disney themed. And so we're going to go with that. I don't really worry about if it's in that particular land or anything like that. Just having fun with the images. I like the kind of retro feel. I think it's a lot of fun. I have fun clustering and layering these elements together. I've been using those and then I've also been grabbing for the Mambi sticks, the big letters from the Happy Planner. And then they also have a couple of sticker books that are unique alphas. And I've been using those to kind of create big titles and labels and things like that on the page. I am also embracing the fact that there are lines on the page and that it is ready to journal in. My plan is to get all of the pictures I want, all the background stuff done in the book, and then take myself on like a Starbucks date and just journal to my heart's content over a couple of days, maybe two to three Starbucks trips, and fill in all of the stories, all of the thoughts. I think it'll be fun that the lines are already there. I can just go back and have fun with the journaling part. I'm not sure yet on if I'm going to do colored pens and bring in color that way, or if I'm going to stick with a black pen, let me know what you think below. Um, but I like that the lines are there and that's, I'm going to go ahead and embrace it. I love this journal from Disney. I love that I get to use it as my kind of memory keeper from that trip. And I love that I could like add future trips, future amusement park trips, maybe future universal trips, just adventures as a family. I love that I could add that in as well. So I think it'll be a fun 
journal fun scrapbook to kind of add to as the years go on. This was our first big Disney trip as a family. We did take my daughter when she was younger, um, just her, and that was a lot of fun too, but it, it was a lot of fun being there as a full family. Okay, if you have this unique Alphas sticker book from the Happy Planner, are you struggling a little bit with getting the letters off? I struggled a lot. Either I couldn't see all the letters just because the lines were super faint, or I struggled with getting the actual letters off. This is sped up a good amount. It took me a long time to do some of these lettering titles. I love the hollow, the hologram look, a holographic look. I think it is a good um fun, bright look for this particular book. I know it doesn't photograph well, which is why a lot of people don't like to use the foiling or the um, any shiny look in their planner because they put it on Instagram. It doesn't picture well. I don't worry about that. I just want to use things I like, and I happen to really like a little sparkle in the background. So we're just going to embrace it. This is a fun picture. This is my nephew and my son, Bradley, who both love Winnie the Pooh and they're older now. And we actually, my husband and I gave Jeffrey a stuffed Winnie the Pooh before he was born as at a baby shower. And he has carried that thing his whole life. And now my son Bradley has his own Pooh Bear that also comes around with him everywhere he goes. And so um, it was pretty cool getting those two kind of Pooh Bear buddies together and they got to see Winnie the Pooh playing in the background, having a little picnic on the hill. Um, and so it, I love that I got to snap that picture of the two of them together. I definitely have times when I add extra memory keeping projects like this for either a special event or a vacation, some sort of mini album. And I quickly become overwhelmed because I like to stay on top of my memory keeping. So I do memory keeping every week in my memory planner. And some of these pictures have made their way into my memory planner. And so when I add additional projects on top of that, sometimes I find it a little bit stressful. Um, let me know, do you keep your pictures like all, do you do one big like year long planner each year? Or do you like to do the smaller events? Do you do both like I do mixing and matching? I don't do a lot of this extra memory keeping. Um, I do I do have an album that's all about me, kind of my own stories, just things I want to talk about. Um, when we have a special vacation like this, I do like documenting it, but mostly I keep all of our stories in that memory planner. That being said, the reason why I'm keeping this simple is so that it doesn't feel overwhelming, so that I can just embrace um, the simplicity of this particular style of scrapbooking, but still get some of the stories documented that I wanted to document. All right, can you see how I'm struggling trying to find these letters? It looks like they're non-existent. Um, it was it was a little bit hard. I'm a little disappointed in how difficult it was to find the right letters. Also, keeping in mind that I had a camera and I didn't want to get my head all up in the camera. And so I had to, you know, kind of look at weird angles to try to get try to get the um, letters off. But we're just going to label this page Pooh Bear Buddies and I'll be able to tell the story of how um, they each got their own separate Pooh Bears and how we just um, love, love, love those boys and their Pooh Bears. The journal I picked up is from the movie Up. And so it has these illustrations of the house with the balloons. And then you have the big bird, Kevin. Um, and so I am leaving that on some of the pages and covering it up on some of the pages. And again, I'm not overthinking it, just covering it up real simply with some bright colors. Um, definitely had to document the Dole Whip. Yum. One of my favorite things to get at Disney World, love, 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 Dole Whip. Let me know if you have a favorite treat, uh, like an amusement park treat. It doesn't have to be Disney World. Sometimes we all like certain things at amusement parks. Like I happen to also be a huge, big pretzel fan. I love big soft pretzels. And so that's one of my other favorite things to get. But when in Disney World, you got to try a Dole Whip because I think those are so delicious. So taking a picture of my boys having their very first Dole Whip and then just loving the souvenir that they got. This was actually the second day of our trip. One of my sons got a little heat sick the first day. It was so hot when we went to Florida. And so we were super worried we weren't really going to make it the rest of the trip, but he rebounded really nicely. He got to pick himself out a souvenir. He opted for a bubble Mickey because who doesn't love bubbles flying around during the day? He had a great time with that. And then Dole Whip, of course, always helps everything. So it was fun to get to roam around with them. I'm super glad that he bounced back after having a rough first day. 
um, when we were at Universal, not Universal, Hollywood Studios, um, but he enjoyed the rest of the trip. The heat was just hard, hard to take. And I think um, him being a redhead made him like a little bit more susceptible to the heat. Um, so he bounced back though. So thank goodness. All right. Adding just a few little decor pieces here. It's so cute. I love playing with all these, all these ephemera pieces. They do just make me think of Disney. It's not necessarily like you don't see Mickey Mouse and things like that. It's like this Disneyland feel. It definitely has, it's that amusement park feel. And that's what I wanted to um, really embrace. I used again, some alphas from that same book, but it was really hard to see on the pattern paper. So I decided to go ahead and outline the alphas with a black gel pen just to make them pop a little bit more. And we have our label Dole Whip. Ta-da. Okay. I'm, you can see that I'm going to put some pages together. So in between each page, I'm just adhering them together and that's to make the paper a little bit thicker. And I just don't need nearly as many pages as, as there are in this book. So I'm going to be doing that throughout the book, just um, putting every other page together like you saw me do right there. I think probably my favorite part of the whole trip was seeing my kids with their cousins. So I have two sisters. I have one sister that has kiddos and I love that our kids are all close in age and they're all very good friends. They love seeing each other. We don't get to see them a ton because they live in Texas and we're up in the Northern Virginia area. And of course, once you have kids that are school age, then you have all the activities and they all play sports. All six of them play sports and have a lot of different commitments. So we don't get to see them very much, but I love that when we do see each other, it's like they just fall right back in line. So they love seeing each other. They love playing. They, I feel like they've grown up together, even though we've been so far apart um, for most of their lives, but it's awesome to see them spending time together. So I love all the pictures I have of all of them. We also had a great time in Epcot stopping at the German beer garden. Um, it was a great break from the heat and we just chilled and like relaxed to the max with that buffet and let the kids kind of chill out and rest from two straight days at the amusement park. We also were able to book like an extra day off. So we did two days in the park one day of rest at the hotel and then the other two part two days um, in the other two parks. And that worked out really well because it let us have a little time to rebound and rest because those long days in an amusement park, those are exhausting. They're awesome, but they are definitely exhausting as well. So you can see that these pages really come together very quickly. I try to make quick decisions place things down, not overthink it. I love those super detailed scrapbook pages that I've seen so many amazing creators make, um, but they take a lot of time and I tend to be an impatient crafter. It's just my style. I know that I do things that um, are going to be a quicker project and that's what I like to do. And I think it's important to just, you know, embrace who you are as a crafter. And I'm someone that wants a quick project and wants it done. And I um, I just like to work fast. And so that's what I'm doing. Just putting the little details down here and there. After I finish with all this ephemera, I do remember that there was a tag set like tags and labels and little journaling card things um, that went along with this once upon a uh, theme park theme. And so I grab that in just a moment and I start going back through the pages and placing some of those because they're just fabulous having those labels and um, all that kind of stuff there to write on. And I will again pull out that same alpha book, ta-da, and use a different font this time and write out the word family because that was, again, the best part of the trip. That is going to be it for documenting day two of our Disney trip spent in Epcot. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will link the supplies that I used down below. Again, I picked up this journal at Disney World. I do think it's available online, so I will try to link it. I think it's super cute with the up theme. I absolutely love it. But um, yeah, check the description box below for those details. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you all so much for your support. We are having a fabulous time over on Patreon, doing all kinds of fun stuff, including getting ready to spend the month of August focused on our planners. I have 31 days of planner printables that all of my patrons are going to receive. And you definitely don't want to miss out on 
um, the extra content and just the perks that are happening over there. So if you're interested, check out the link to my Patreon page in the description box as well. All right, once I get all of these little tags, that's going to be it. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.